Hi, I am Melanie. Today I am sharing with you one of my favorite recipes: salted fish meatloaf. Okay, I have so many recipes that are favorite, <laughs> but this one is special in many ways. I tell you, this stuff is、mm, so special that is no restaurant would dare to serve this stuff. <laughs> so, I have about one and a half pound of ground pork and some.、Uh, Salted fish. I tell you, this is going to be very salty. I couldn't find the minced or the the the, the grind one, so I found、uh, this jar that have some whole fish in here. It's called mud fish. I will get to that later.、Uh, this is going to be very stinky. I mean, it's 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 stinky delicious though. I'm not sure how many will enjoy this dish, but. It is so authentic and weird that I just have to share it with you. <laughs> Maybe I am not ashamed of who I am. We're gonna mince up about a, a nice size shallot and a couple of、uh, cloves of garlic because this is so stinky. This is so fishy. Mince all that up and add it in that bowl with the meat. All right, this.、Uh, I'm trying to get this meat out and this fish out, and I, I tell you, I tried it all different ways. I don't know what they did, but when the the fish is all salted and and hardened up, it just formed with this jar, and it was pain in the neck trying to get this sucker out. I tried on with glove, without glove, and、uh, with knife, with scissors. Finally got this thing out, and on the jar it said boneless fish, and I pull out half of a salted fish with full of bones. I think I got the half without the bones. Whoever the other person is, I need to get that jar. So this is going to be very salty. I usually I will get just about a couple of tablespoon of the whole jar. There probably about one one、uh, quarter of the jar.、Uh, but this fish,、uh, I don't know what else to do with it. So, and I just kind of clean all the the bones out because it's too much work.、Uh, so if you can find the grind up one, that would be better. Because I will be, you know, mixing all this up into like a meatloaf style, so I really do not want any little sharp bones in there that might get down in my, you know, throat. I'll clean all that up and rinse it and wash it for、uh, all the saltiness drain away. As many of you know, I don't eat as salty, but this was pretty pretty salty.、Uh, this is a pretty big batch. Usually I would do maybe like a cup, but this one、uh, is pretty large portion, so I end up use the whole,、uh, ha- well, only half of the fish, but the whole jar. I did not use any juice.、Uh, add in here with your machine, a little, you know, grind it all up, or you can chop it all up with your cleaver,、uh, the old style, you know. But nowadays we put everything into machine. And dump it in there. Add in about six eggs. Well, not shell. We we're not gonna. We we don't need the shell. Just the egg. Just crack them in there. Oh, here comes my little chew shell. <laughs> Trying to steal my egg. So I'm going to save a few egg yolks for uh, uh, the top when I'm done cooking, and just kind of, you know, put it on top for a nice、uh, yellow color. But you don't have to, you know, if you just kind of eat it by yourself, no, 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 or no, 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 no. you don't have to like sell it to at the restaurant. Oh my God! All right, that was one lost egg. <laughs> All right, I had seven eggs. And、uh, about one just went outside, so that were about six eggs. So about five to six eggs is good. 
You can use um, more eggs is the softer the meatloaf and the less egg will be more meaty and it will be more tight and firm. So it's up to you, you know, four eggs, whatever you have left in the, the fridge there. I like soft, so uh, I, I use six eggs. And go in there with your gloves and, you know, don't use your bare hand because uh, this is called stinky, very stinky stuff. It's fish and, you know, you gotta, it, it stinks. So you don't want all that to be in your hand if you can help it. Uh, I go in with a couple of a good size of tablespoons of sugar there because it's really salty and a lot of black pepper maybe two teaspoons to three teaspoons and shake in just as enough enough hot pepper or hot chili pepper powder as much as you can and mix it all up you can see the the mixture is uh, pretty soft it's not uh, dry and either way you know you got enough meat that should make it into a meatloaf that is done i'm not planning to stick my hand in there anymore so i'm using the spoon now and then you need to give it a taste to make sure uh, it's kind of good enough to eat before you 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 steam this whole thing so i put it, stick that into the microwave for maybe 10 to 30 seconds and uh, give it a taste. I gotta tell you, it's so salty. It's super salty. But it's a little dry there. I uh, expect the little dryness when you stick it in a microwave because it dry out your your meat. But when you steam, uh, when you steam the meatloaf, it should be um, softened and moist. So I add uh, some more sugar because it's so salty. Uh, I total, I say about six tablespoons of sugar. This will be uh, pretty balanced out, a little salty, a little sweet and spicy. So taste it again and I think I like this second time. I will be eating this with the rice, so if it's on a little bit of a salty side, it's okay. You know, growing up, we eat salty food with rice because rice is uh, pretty affordable. And um, so everything else needs to be salty so that we don't eat as much of the meat or um, anything else but rice. So that we eat a lot more rice, it's kind of like a filler. But, you know, now I don't have to fill nothing. I just fill my bowl with a lot of the meatloaf. Uh, even it out and uh, make it nice and flat. I'm going to steam this, so I just want to cover this up with an aluminum foil to prevent the water from dripping into my bowl. And here I'm gonna use my Instant Pot uh, with some water in there. Uh, it's filled up to just below the rack there. And set it in there and close the lid with tight uh, air. I don't want any air escape and going to uh, do pressure cook for 30 minutes. And that is it. We'll be back. So it's been finished and depressurized. Take the aluminum foil out. What you see here is uh, the, the egg white that got uh, contaminated with the fish and the juice in there, but that's okay. I will be eating all of that. I'm not going to remove that. 
Now I go on top with my egg yolks and kind of cover it up. You, if you like it a little bit deeper color, you can add in like a drop of uh, red food color in a bowl. Stir it up before you put it in here. If you want a little bit thicker, uh, you know, you can add a little bit of cornstarch or um, a, a tapioca, tapioca starch and stir it up and it's, it's going to be like a little bit uh, thicker. I'm good. I am real. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be, you know, just that. So, put it back and close the lid since it's still hot and everything. I didn't turn on any uh, heat. So, like an hour, 30 minutes later, it's actually 30 minutes later, uh, everything should be all cooked and it is ready. The hard surface should be, I mean, the egg should be uh, all cooked. It didn't get really even right there, but hey, it's, it's for me. So this is a gigantic portion. Uh, I didn't really, you know, eat all this at one sitting. I will go nut <laughs> on top of my nuttiness already. I cut this into three portions. I uh, gave one away, one I ate, and one was uh, in my freezer for another day. I need to set my camera down for this and here it is. Inside should be moist and uh, soft. Um, I did not have any uh, video, um, I, on, I didn't have any extra footage on how I eat this but this white rice is good. I hope you enjoyed this stink delicious salty fish meatloaf video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share with someone and challenge yourself. Give it a try. You might like it. Subscribe if you haven't for weekly Vietnamese Asian home cook, gardening and more. Have a great day and bye bye.